So obviously, we both agree that Iran will top this group pretty easily. They tend to not really fumble when they're in a position like this. They've done really well at World Cups, I would say, overall. And Asian Cups, I think, when it comes to the group stage time, I, I think they usually do show up in a really good manner. But they're interesting, bro. Iran is really interesting entering this tournament. They're the second oldest team at the Asian Cup, 29.52 years of age. Mm. But they're undefeated since the World Cup ended, bro. Mm -hmm. Nine total games, seven wins, two draws. When it comes to Iran, my biggest question is, can they crack into the top two of Asia right now? Because I think there's an I mean, it's clear that Japan's the best team right now, mm. but then there's South Korea, Australia, always vying for that second place spot. Yep. And Iran has been given that position, but yet they haven't actually been able to get any silverware out of it, bro, because they won this tournament three times in the past, but the last time they won it was in 1976. And they haven't made a final since then, bro. The nope. most they've done is get third place. So if you're Irani, I, I can't help but think that the country must be somewhat frustrated with the inability to get results at this tournament, given how dominant they've been and how good of a team they've been for so long. I would say probably one of the most consistent Asian sides we've seen because they've been good since the 1990s, maybe even the 2000s, bro. At least for me, that's my biggest question for them going into this tournament and kind of putting a little pressure on them to be able to deliver because I just, I always find myself expecting more out of Iran and especially the way the World Cup ended for them. I wonder if we're going to see a continuation of that disappointment or if they'll find a way to continue the momentum of this past year and just win these games and make something notable happen at this tournament yeah not winning since the 70s is crazy because i'm with you iran has been one of the most consistent asian teams of the last decade and they themselves consider them to be probably a top two asian side going into the fifa 2022 world cup they were the highest ranked asian team that's such a good qualifying tournament man oh, dude, they yeah, were so they were ridiculous yeah, the bro. numbers they, were crazy the numbers yeah it was one of the craziest <laughs> qualifying campaigns i've ever seen like i thought saudi arabia had to go in iran yeah. blew them out of the water bro but since 1970 not making a final appearance since like sounds like i'm talking about the new york knicks bro <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of low-key a yeah. little pathetic just yeah. a little bit yeah <laughs> 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 but within the context of Iran, I actually have some good news. Huh? What, what did you? What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I truly do think this Iran team right now is the best Irani side ever. I was thinking about. It. I considered saying that, but I didn't want to. I'm not, I don't think I'm fully there. <laughs> sure. But I looked at the numbers. It, it almost calculates out, bro. I think, I think it I think does. I, I think you got a point. Yeah. I really do think it does. Maybe they had a hell of a team back in 1968, yeah. but in the modern era, I think this is for certain the best Irani side, and I don't think it's even close. When I look at their track record, so 2014 World Cup, they made an appearance, but that's all it was. They just kind of showed up yeah. to Brazil, and they got in their hotel, and they checked out. Three games, didn't do anything. 2018, they showed signs of a team that could actually do something and shake things up at a World Cup. They had a really tough group, Spain, Portugal, mm -hmm. crazy. But they, they made them work yep. at the very least. They had what we just said, one of the craziest qualifying campaigns, easily winning pretty much every single game. And going into 2022, I was really excited to see Iran. But unfortunately, you know, politics got involved. It, it, it did. It did. It, it got involved, yeah. and it's obviously not any Irani player's fault. But dude, not singing the anthem at the at, at the in the first match, all of what was going on with the government in Iran, it just makes it tough for an athlete to focus on wh why you're there. But it sucks because you're wearing the Iranian flag. Like you want to be there for your country, but if you don't agree with your country, it can get a little weird, right? So I don't blame them for what happened at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It was really unfortunate. But what's crazy is that they showed signs of them being a really good team, beating Wales and then mm -hmm. going the distance against a young, feisty USA squad. I will say, I think it's really unfortunate they had to start off against England, bro. Yeah, for sure. I think that's really unfortunate. It's super that, unfortunate. That just added to the difficulty of that tournament. Exactly. And... I truly think if you flip that schedule yeah. and you have an unclouded Iranian team, then I, I think they get out of that group, bro. Or at least, you know, make the distance and get very, get very, very tight with the USA, bro. And going into this tournament, all I see is nothing but players in their prime for Iran. From back to front, and please, if, if I could, 
Bayron Vond Let's in between the sticks. One of the best goalkeepers, I think, in Asia. One of my favorite ones. Yeah, yeah. He such a good sauce. So, such a good shot stopper. He's so big too. And then up front you have Kali Zedek, Kanazi De- Kanani Zedegan. And then on the left back position you have Mohammadi or Moharami. Either one's really good on the ball. If you want to go offensive option as a right back, you have Ramin Rezayan, who is damn near a right winger at times. Where's the number nine for his local club, Sepahan? That tells you where his confidence is at right now. In the midfield, you could have Torabi, Ezatolahi, Jahambash, uh, Goldosh if you want to. Mm-hmm. And Hosseini. Then up, Hosseini, yeah. yeah. And then up top, if you, you have Sardar Asmun and Mehdi Taremi, man. All of them in their prime all of them so if you look at the journey that this irani team has been over the last nine to ten years i think this right now is their peak they have to take advantage of all the players that they have because they're all in their prime this crop of players has built an insane amount of chemistry over the last 10 years so now this is it you use them now you make a deep run in this tournament and you go one last time for a crazy run for 2026? Yeah, no, it, I, I, I think the the storyline is there. The narrative is there for Iran to yeah. be able to to maximize their potential and the setup is there for them to be able to do something special. I agree with that sentiment um, because yes, when I look at their offense specifically, they have one of the more clinical offenses in, in all of Asia. Yeah. They're killer, bro. Tahiremi and uh, Asmund are so, so good so and good. experienced playing high level football and it shows when it translates over to the Asian game. Um, but looking specifically, uh, I looked at their match against Uzbekistan where they tied 2-2. They were up 2-0 and it was due to, due to that clinicality where Uzbekistan fucked up and Iran just pounced on those opportunities and scored right away. I was watching it like, damn, Iran is, they're killers out here, bro. How the hell does Uzbekistan get back into this game? And obviously Uzbekistan is a really strong and formidable side, but to me, that's the thing is that once that second half started, Uzbekistan found a way to like impose themselves on Iran and Iran couldn't find a way out, bro, until eventually they choked out two goals out of Iran and they tied the match 2-2. That's the part where I get a little nervous about Iran is when it comes to facing really good sides, really elite teams like a Japan, like a South Korea, like an Australia, because if we're trying to consider them title contenders, that's what's going to happen. I don't know if I have that trust in them to be able to take on a team that imposes themselves on them because so far, I, I think the opponents they face have been good, but once they face an elite side, that's where I get interested and concerned. And ultimately, that's why I don't, I wouldn't say I have them winning the tournament, but I fully agree. They're a top three side at this at this Asian Cup for sure. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Really, really good point. Thank you, brother. And I just want to say, I think all those points made and the narrative that I just laid out, I think basically puts the situation that I'm in. Mm. I don't know where Iran's going to end. Mm. I don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty with how they perform. They've had terrible AFC Cup performances, man. Really, really, really bad. And then when we need them to perform at World Cups, it's they've always fallen short. I think this is just down to Iran to figure out. But that's why I am so excited to see them play because if they understand what they have and the players that are at their disposal, Iran's going to the final. Mm. They're going to the final. And if it's Iran, Japan... We're going to get one of the most high-quality Asian Cup Finals we've ever seen. And fuck it, they might even win it. But it's up to them. It's, it's up to nobody else. It's not going to be up to a team making mistakes. It's up to Iran shorting up that defense and then being clinical on offense. If they can do those two things, then Iran can honestly go all the way I think, and lift the title at the end of the day. I have them definitely as a top three side. And because of that, I have them as genuine, genuine title contenders. Do you think there's more pressure on Iran or on Australia to win this tournament? I would say Iran, yeah. simply because Australia really is in a kind of interesting transitionary period. I, I don't even think Australia is looking to win this. Okay. I don't think they're even okay. looking to win it. But Iran, almost more than half of their starting lineup will be like in their mid-30s come the next AFC Asian Cup. There's no way that they can think that they'll have the same chance in three, four years' time. It's now. So I think there's a lot of pressure time-wise for Iran.